hey guys and welcome back to another video come grocery shopping with me okay so we're going to show you how to keep a healthy lifestyle and by showing you how to choose the best foods to eat and the foods to stay away from at all costs so the first thing that you want to get is organic look at the label if it starts with a four it's not organic if it starts with a nine it is organic make sure that you are not eating genetically modified foods it's not healthy our bodies function and maintains itself through vitamins and minerals basically from the foods that we eat. So whatever we eat, our bodies break down the foods and extract only the nutrients from the food and it discards the waste and non-essential parts of the food. So that's basically why we need to eat food. That is why I said whatever problem that you have, whatever illness that you have, it can be fixed with food. So that is why it's important that whoever is cooking your food, whoever's in the kitchen, your mother, your wife, that person can either be your doctor, your nurse, your nutritionist all in one, or it could be your killer. Now that we know every illness can be cured with the proper intake of properly raised foods, it's time to note how many times you should eat a day. You should eat one meal a day because it takes your stomach 24 hours to properly digest one meal. So that is why I'm showing you all the different vegetables that you can eat during your one meal. It shouldn't be pizza or a burger from Burger King or whatever. It should not be something that's fast food. It should be something that's nutritious because this is the time where your body is going to extract the nutrients from the thing that you're eating. And this is the time that you are going to be feeding your body so that it can maintain and properly function. Some of us eat so often and so much at a time that it actually has a tendency to make us small and skinny because we never allow the previous meal to digest and distribute the vitamins and proteins in the proper places and throughout the our bloodstream. Rest given to the digestive system of our bodies is the thing that prolongs our lives. In this period of rest, 24 hours, one meal a day, the poisons that we ate in a previous meal are not capable of doing us any harm when it is minor food poison. For the idleness of the stomach destroys this poison that was set up or shorten our lives to a great extent. Therefore, we live a longer life and if we eat correctly and do not eat three meals a day, only one meal a day is sufficient for adults no matter what their occupation may be. Which leads me to fasting. So fasting is a greater cure for our ills, both mental and physical, than all of the drugs on the earth combined into one bottle or a billion bottles. So there is no cure in drugs and medicine. This is why so many have switched to natural supplements, which are artificial vitamins and minerals. But one meal a day would keep us here a long time and we will live over 100 years. And try not to change the time that you eat. The best time to eat during the day is between 4 and 6. So if you eat at 4 every day, keep it at 4. If you eat at 5 every day, keep it at 5. This helps your stomach to not have gas. When you eat at different times a day, it will cause your stomach to be gassy. So this is not a diet. I just want to say that this is not a diet. This is not what I do to lose weight. It is a healthy way to live, which will keep the weight off of you if you stay within the limits of this lifestyle. But this is just a lifestyle. This is just a healthy way to live overall. And it applies to anybody that's 18 or over. You don't want to do it for children. Yes, this is for adults, not for children. So children need breakfast. They need to have that breakfast before they go to school so that they can function in school. So as for your eating one meal a day, when you are trying to stay within the limits of eating one meal a day, you can drink coffee in between your meals, but don't eat anything in between your meals. So you're not supposed to snack. You're not supposed to have a smoothie. You're not supposed to have anything except for coffee or tea or water. So as an overall rule, do not eat too much of anything, good food or bad food. And try to stay away from meat. But if you do have to eat meat, let it be organic, chemical free, and grass fed chicken or fish. But really you should try to stay away from chicken and fish and absolutely no pork. There are 13 essential vitamins that we get from our food. So when we get the vitamins and nutrients that we need from our foods, we don't have to take a lot of supplements. So be careful when we're taking our supplements. Try not to self-diagnose. Try to get blood work done at the doctor and seeing what you're actually deficient in. And then you can take that supplement. But do not take too much of a certain vitamin because that can be toxic. And it is also true that if we do not intake a sufficient amount of certain vitamins in our diet, we risk having a deficiency. Hair loss. Um 
vision problems, headaches, migraines, all of these things, fatigue. These are some of the signs that our body is saying that we have deficiencies. So make sure that you're getting an annual exam from your doctor and you keep up with what's going on with your body. And all the information that I am getting to you on this video is from the book, How to Eat to Live, part one and part two. So if you Google how to eat to live, you can purchase this book and you can read it for yourself. And it is a great read. It's a short read, but it's so useful. And this is the lifestyle that I subscribe to. Also, all the information that you need is going to be in the drop box below in this video. So if you have questions, if you have anything that you need to know, it's going to be located there. So as you can see here, here is what you call processed meats. That is deli meat, lunch meat. All of this is processed meat and it is so bad for you. Try to stay away from it. I like to eat wild caught fish and I like to make sure that it's salmon. This is something that's really healthy. Red salmon over pink salmon always. Stay away from sca scavengers of the sea. Um, a lot of seafood is not good for you. Tilapia is not good for you. Best is fresh. Try to get your food, your fruits, and your vegetables and your fish fresh because it costs the same and a lot of times the stores will give you um, just a better selection because things can be frozen for years. You never know how long that stuff is frozen. So try to get fresh. And here is some smoked salmon. I love it, it's so tasty. Um, and I like to cook it all the time. And I have replaced that with sausage, again, processed meat not good for you it's linked to a lot of different diseases so try to stay away from it of course pork no pork whatsoever oh my gosh it is said that the swine flesh carries the tracheal worm which travels up through the spine and can live in the brain and cause dementia so be careful with eating pork don't eat it soda is not good for you it is empty calories it just has sugars and other chemicals in it that makes you desire it but you're not quenching your thirst and you're going to keep grabbing it and just racking up the calories for no reason stay away from diet drinks as you can see here aspartame is linked to cancer it's in a lot of diet drinks or no sugary no sugar drinks no calorie drinks so where you're trying to cut back and lose weight you'll end up gaining cancer or something that's going to harm you in the end so just try to stay away from it and drink water and try to drink 100 percent juice if possible so the frozen meals are no no i know it's convenient i know you think that oh i'm eating a small portion it'll help me get through no it's a lot of calories it's not nutritious and it's just a waste of a meal what helped me lose a lot of weight is staying away from the snacks they are very addictive and they have no nutritional value and again everything in moderation of course you're going to want to treat yourself and indulge yourself but make sure you stay away from the things that are unhealthy for you as much as possible there is light at the end of the tunnel don't look at this as such like a heavy burden every lifestyle change is going to be very hard in the beginning but it's gonna pay off i'm telling you when you are working on your illness working on these diseases that we have um you're gonna feel better you're going to start realizing okay i don't need the bad and i'm gonna stay with the good and you will have longevity and you'll have a longer life and you're gonna look younger longer okay so you want to stay away from canned foods you want to stay away from tuna tuna is not good for you you want to do salmon you want to do red wild caught salmon because farm raised means that they are scientifically creating these salmon and that is not fresh and you don't want anything that man puts their hands in you want everything fresh from nature pasta is processed foods you want to stay away from it you want to stay away from these little snacks um, because they are not good for you they have a lot of chemicals in it that will shorten your life you want to get healthy snacks there's a lot of healthy snacks i'm going to do a video on it but you want to make sure that you stay away from these processed snacks and please don't give them to your children please don't give them to your children if you don't give it to your children your children won't fiend for it they won't call for it because they won't even know that it exists so stop giving our children us i stop eating bad process next so you want to stay away from peanut butter peanut butter is not good for you it's hard to digest instead you want to get some butter or almond butter these things are better for you 
we want to stop giving our children and ourselves cereals with a lot of sugars these cereals also have cancer causing agents in it the label may fool you but they may say honey nut cheerios it reduces calories it lowers cholesterol no it's not healthy for you and here are some of the coffees that I like to get. I like to have coffee at home. Sometimes I'll definitely like to treat myself as well, but um, this is what I like to do. So I like to stay away from the cookies and the cakes because these things will keep the calories on, okay? So a lot of times we like to use aluminum coated pans. They are not good for you. Stainless steel is better and iron cast pans are better. So the aluminum coated pans are going to be easier to cook with, but the aluminum is a dangerous chemical that is not made for consumption. So stay away from it. Get stainless steel or cast iron. I love to use I love to use glassware. Glassware is much better. Glassware is better instead of aluminum pans. Aluminum pans slowly digest into the system and they cause harmful effects to the body. I love olive oil. Olive oil is not good for frying. Do not fry with uh, extra virgin olive oil. Use grapeseed oil or sun uh, sunflower seed oil or avocado oil instead. Do not use extra virgin olive oil to fry in because it is not the type of oil that can handle high temperatures. Guys, everything in moderation is good. Okay, so I know we're going to not eat perfectly all the time, but everything in moderation, that is the key. So when you're eating good majority of the time, when you have a little snack here or there, it's not as harmful. So I know a lot of people say get nuts for protein. Absolutely not. Every time you eat peanuts or any type of nut, it takes seven years from your life. It is way too harsh for the human stomach to digest. So no nuts. If you made it to the end of the video, you are the real MVP. Thank you. I know this video was a lot to digest. Feel free to go back over the video. If you have questions, please send me in the comments. Look in the description bar. I'm going to have a list of the foods to eat and the foods to stay away from. And make sure that this is a lifestyle change and not just a diet. Thank you all. See you later.